Hello, in this one, Earth Blow Hybrid build, which was heavily buffed in Season 6. Even though you can do Hybrid, which is Critical plus Maximized, on any build in the game, this one requires explanation. Why you don't want to stick with only Maximized build. And that comes from the Skill Tooltip, which gives you Critical Chance and Critical Damage through Maintain Position Stacks. Scaling Critical on this build is easy and that gives us more room to work on our Maximized damage. Maximized mainly comes from the legendary charm affix, which is maximization chance, and this is more endgame stuff. At the same time, there are a few uniques that can help us increase our maintained position stacks, and at the same time, help us scale our critical. But about that later, right now, let's get into the simple stuff, so it will be easier to follow. For early skill board on an earth blow build, this is what we're aiming for. So on the Earth Blow itself, we are looking for Warrior Shadow, additional physical damage, quick attack, confidence, iron will, and slaughter. You can switch slaughter to area of effect or winding wind if you want more movement speed. For attack seal, we are looking for condensed destruction. For defense seal, you can use any. I picked up seal of dodge. You can use physical domain, elemental domain, anything you want. For Illusion Axis, I added lower armor. Lower armor basically increases our physical damage. And all of the utilities are linked with dampened resource cost. For attack enhances Fighter's Rot with increased duration and time acceleration. For defense enhance is Bulwark with increased duration and time acceleration. Shadow Provocation in here is, is for the armor amplification. So you want to have buff activation when hit. So it would proc automatically, after that Lingering Shout and Hushed Shout, together with Time Acceleration. For movement abilities, we want to have Leap Attack and Sprint linked with Disarm. For Zodiacs, there are many things that you can do, but I'm gonna show the one that should work basically for everyone. I'm gonna start with non-spec nodes, and then I'm gonna talk about spec nodes, but what you need to remember is that Whenever your spec node unlocks, you always want to go for the spec node first and then continue on non-spec nodes. And the first spec node unlocks when you spend 22 points, second spec 45 and third spec 70. So let's start with non-spec nodes. We're gonna start with Afrosh, Forest, Jewel, Leaf, Root, Flash, Rainbow, Annihilation, In the Breath, Dust, Don't forget the certification, this is our Avery effect, Artemis, Spider, Power of Harmony, if you have Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, 200 and more. Pharma. Leia, to be able to apply Shock. And Spike, Holy Manufacturing. For the spec themselves, we are gonna go in Dawn, because we won't convert mana. This is how Dawn looks like. Hail, you can spec into Desperate Hit, but on this build we don't need as much critical rate, so I only picked up Sharpness. And the last one is Sympathy, default stuff. Remember that if you are doing Convert Mana on your Zodiac nodes, you want to pick up HP Absorbent Hit, otherwise you're gonna die. So you have to wait till you open up the third spec in order to pick up Convert Mana on the first one. Otherwise. You're gonna keep getting damage from the convert mana itself. So this is pretty much default stuff. This is gonna work for everyone. Charm Blessings, it's really simple. You want to start with the Hamal, go into Boreal and then into Alyssa. And if you want to do the fourth one, the only option is to do Caster. For Charm Affixes, there is quite a few choices you can do. By default, Basically, this is what you're looking for. Maximize damage, critical rate multiplier, and critical damage multiplier. But because this build has so much crit rate on the tooltip 
of the skill, you can actually go critical damage, maximize damage, and then any damage multiplier that works on your build. So that would be damage multiplier flat, damage when one-handed or damage when two-handed, depending on what you choose to do. For legendary prefixes, we are looking for maximization chance, which is our best one, as this is highly hybrid build. You, we want to have as much crit and as much maximization chance, and strength damage amplification is not bad, but not as much damage as maximization chance. For relics, I'm gonna keep it simple. So we want to start with the caster. On the caster, we want to pick up on the passive enhanced anthem effect. However, there are quite a few choices. You can do enhanced strength if you're aiming for like 500 strength or just simple damage, which is enhanced range. Area effect and area damage. On active side, we want sensory stimulation with increased buff effect and cooldown recovery speed. For the second one, you can do pickup. On the passive side, pick up powerful damage or increase earth energy, enhance earth energy. On the active side, you can use pulverize, increase buff effect and cooldown recovery speed. So the main difference between two active skills is that pulverize doesn't increase your damage taken. And this, what people opt to later into the game, cause at the same time, you can roll pulverize effect on your rings. And yeah, caster, caster increases damage taken, which is not good. For the third one, I always choose Sebda for chaos resistance, and Boreal is the last one for enhanced HP. For itemization on the earth blow is a little bit different than any other build, because we have so much crit from our skill tooltip, you can do it two ways. You can pick up either a weapon. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you on a two-handed blunt, but you don't have to do a blunt. You can choose to do even one-handed blunt, one-handed scepter, whatever you like. So, but the main idea is because we have so much crit, you can either choose a low critical rate base on two-handed blunt that's ten, or high critical rate base, which is thirteen on the same blunt depending on how many good charms you have at critical rate and how much critical you actually have going for a low critical base might be more damage so that out of the way what you want to have on your weapon first of all you want to start with gear critical rate multiplier as this is still mainly critical build this is what we want on our uh, on our weapon after that, we want weapon attack damage multiplier. After this, you can go into something like physical flat. Physical flat and weapon attack damage flat. So these four affixes is already really strong, especially early into the game. And after that, depending on what you want. I'm going to choose in here something like uh, critical damage on the suffix. And I'm going to finish with... Uh, Weapon speed. That would be the best. So something like this. This is how the weapon should look like. The main point to take away from here is that doesn't matter what kind of base you pick up. Is it low critical base or high critical base? You want to roll gear critical rate multiplier. On, on other equipment like chest and so on, it's, it's the same stuff. You want to pick up as much resistances, as much... Uh, HPs just to itemize defensively. Skill bot late in, into the game. So this one assumes that there is no ongoing meta. This is basically a non-meta skill bot for later game. And what we are looking at is Warrior Shadow, Fighting Spirit, Grip Strength, Focus at Strike, Iron Will, and Melee Damage Amplification. So on Earthblow, we want to have Origin. On Warrior Shadow, we want to have Source. For Finding Spirit, Source. For Grip Strength, Source. Grip Strength works whenever you are using one-hander or a two-hander, it doesn't matter. Two-hander, you get a hit rate dampening, which you should be careful. As if you hit rate dampen too much, you're gonna lose a little bit of damage. Focus at Strike into Source. Iron Will into Origin. 
and melee damage amplification into origin and remember if you're not gonna awaken it to origin don't use it use something else before first of all awaken it and then only use it also I added on fighters fighters rot uh, total activation upon using enhanced skill and we want we can totem awaken it into origin at the same time decrease duration on fighters rot decrease duration can decrease your damage if you are doing it too early so test it before you equip this I picked up seal of striking instead of seal of condensed destruction just because late in, into the game amp is just better uh, on Shadow Provocation, I also added Predator's Roar and Enhance Effect. Enhance Effect also on Fighter's Right. This works really well. You want to uh, uh, awaken Enhance Effect into Source. For Movement, instead of Leap Attack, I added Penetrating Slash, just fast animation. And to remove CC, I added Shadow of Justice, awaken it to Verity. And together with Buff Activation upon Crowd Control, so it would proc automatically whenever you are CC'd. So this is how the skill board looks like later into the game or this is what you're aiming for. And I'm not showing you extra points in here as I'm keeping this pretty much friendly to new players. But remember this is not min-max skill board. This is more approach to make it easier to understand and easier to follow. For Season Rebirth meta, what you can do is run extract of energies and extract energy however running extract energy might be difficult for new players because you need to min max a lot of stuff you need to be careful because losing damage is going to be really easy on a critical build when you're generating random energies so if you find it difficult at least equip extract of energy and you can switch that extract energy to any other amp that you can get it can be something like uh, melee damage amp mana storm harmony whatever you find it however if you're running this build what you need to know is that you might want to spec onto the zodiacs in the node 9 for some cold energy effect reduction or lightning energy effect reduction i mean about the debuffs so you wouldn't decrease your critical chance that much from the cold energy or lightning or from the lightning energy maximization chance but if you can min max that if you can fix that your damage is going to be quite a bit higher however if you don't want to do that just remember at least keep the extract f energies because this is really good in season six this is basically alternative zodiacs and this is more min maxing the build depending on what you have so the main difference is in here i removed points from the rainbow added points onto the root for major body and then i switched to hammer spec hammer spec is strong if you don't need convert mana so this is the first change that you do and on hammer, you want to go powerful hit and area. On Vrat, you want to go turbulence and damage amplification. And in the flame, HP absorb, damage amp, and area damage amp. At the same time, I did some changes on the node 9, which is I picked up Froshard to reduce the cold energy debuff. So basically, to reduce the negative energy that you get from cold which is basically critical chance reduction at the same time you can do either cold in here or you can do lightning lightning is also can be strong depending on what kind of build you have and what stats you have so it's either cold or lightning so electric current wall at the same time i added three points for will of strong for damage jump but if you don't have 500 strength you can spend those points somewhere else at the same time if you are using shield you can spec into three and pick up armor when shield is equipped armor when shield is equipped shield expert 
then go into Song of the Harvest, then go upwards to Mysterious Shield and to the Fence. If you're using Shield, this three is so, so much better than anything else. But in order to do this, you will have to remove points somewhere else. And I'm gonna assume you have Lightning on your crafted weapon. So I'm gonna remove Lightning. I mean about the authority that gives you additional Lightning damage. And then you can spend these points onto the shield if you have it. If you don't, you can keep that lightning. It requires one more point. That point we can get from anywhere else. From something like here even. If you don't have 500, you can do this. Let's assume you will gonna have 200 strength, dex and uh, intelligence. We can do it like this and then add that point in here. But at this stage, it's just min-maxing the build. But this is one of the possibilities that you can do. For uniques on this build, you have quite a few choices. So I'm gonna mention them. Of course, it's a critical build. You want to have a refraction. This might be not as good late into the game, but early into the game, a little bit of critical rate is not gonna hurt you. After that, there is one specific ring that gives you max maintain position stacks. So, what it means, that this is basically 20 extra stacks that gives you critical damage and critical rate at the same time. So this ring is not bad. There is also a one-hander blunt called Transcendent Mountain Root. And why is it so good? First of all, it gives you a lot of area effect, it gives you melee damage amplification, and 20 max maintain position stacks. Again. These stacks gonna buff your skill tooltip by quite a lot because it's attack damage and critical rate plus area effect scaling. And if you are doing the extract energy, the season 6 rebirth meta, you can also pick up Boreal's Horizon. This one is really cheap, you are looking for max 2 energies, it just buffs your energies tremendously. And this is where I'm gonna stop, as going further into this is only gonna make it more complicated and it's not gonna be friendly for new players. Don't forget to check the description, as I always leave some good stuff in there, or some updates on the build. If not, if you have some questions, you can ask them on YouTube, and also I'm streaming on Twitch and on YouTube, so if you want, you can ask them live. And this is where I stop. GG's, have fun, and see you in the next one.